Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm Joel from Black Panda Studios, and today I'll be doing a quick tutorial on loading in fonts into Mono Games. So let's get started. Um, oh yeah, I'm quite new to tutorials, guys. So yeah, I don't know. It's my first ever tutorial, so yeah, we'll see. So to start off with you know, just create a new Mono Game project. I'll just call it loading fonts. Um, this isn't a tutorial on like learning the basics. This is just loading in fonts. So yeah, just so you know, won't be going slow. It's pretty pretty simple what I'm doing it's I think this is the easiest way to do it if you're just loading in fonts but there are other methods if you have to load in like music etc it can get a bit frustrating I'll have to do some more research in that because I have no idea how to load in songs and sound effects into modern games so yeah we'll start off we'll just create a sprite font called font and sprite batch dot again and right batch dot draw and look, draw string. We want our font, we want our text, which is going to be test. Um, we want a new vector two. Set this wherever, so 100, 100 and color dot white. Or wait, why not? I don't even know what this looks like to be honest. Never tried wait. Um so yeah, this just won't work because we're not loading anything in. So first you want to add in a new project. Save this. Save. You want to add in a mono game content project and we'll call it content. Okay. Once you've got that, you want to go um, add a new item and add in your font. As you can see, you've got the option now. You have to have XNA installed to do this, guys. So just letting you know. So we'll call this font. And we'll add it. Save that, leave everything as default, and what we're going to do is just go font equals, font equals content load sprite font. No, that was right. And it's called font. So that's loading it in, saying to draw it. That should work, that should work right? And we'll have a look. Should get thrown an error saying it's not an asset file. That's a non-content file, sorry. So stop that, you want to go to references, you want to add a reference, you want to go over here to projects, and you want to reference your content project, so in a sense you're linking them together so you can access the content from there, and you click OK. Once you've got that, hit F5, see what happens. This is from memory, and yeah, there you go. So yeah, that is loading in fonts, it's really that simple. Um, yeah, that's only fonts. For some reason, audio is just, I don't know. I, I could try, why not? Give it a go. Haven't tried music like this. Ambient, I don't know. Yeah. Horror game music. Sure. Add that in. I'll just give this a go, why not? It's MP3, so I'll make a song. I'll call it song. Have to add that, for some reason. And load it in. Snong, no song, please. Um, what is it called? Holy shit! Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not typing that in. Okay. Try S. And you want to say song? No, I think it's media player library play or something, yeah, and the song, I don't know, <laughs> I, I have no clue, I'm pretty certain this won't work, yeah, so I don't know why there's something like wrong with how you play music, I know it's because of the file format, you have to convert it, but yeah, for now, that's it guys, that's how you load in fonts into modern game, my next tutorial will be maybe... I don't know, something along the lines of setting up my, uh, how I handle my sprites, maybe, um, like create a base class that um, handles animations along with all the other sprites you have in your game, etc. So yeah, um, yeah, I was my first tutorial, so I yeah, hope you learned how to load in fonts. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and thanks.